Hi, welcome to Just Jesus. This is a taste tester lesson today because I want to whet your appetite for the Just Jesus Foundations course that confounds you in the knowledge of the Lord Jesus Christ. So I hope you'll enjoy this little bit of a taste tester and you'll join with me in the future lessons to come. That in all there'll be two taste testers and then an introduction week in which you'll be able to sign up for the Just Jesus course. So without further ado, let's begin this taste tester today. Let's pray first though. Father in the name of Jesus, just help us now by illuminating our understanding to perceive Christ Jesus and who we are in him. Amen. So, folks, what you'll have when you come to the Just Jesus course, you'll have a set of notes for each lesson. We'll make them available to you on PDF. And uh, in the notes, you will have an introduction section, a Bible reading section, a word study section. So the introduction, the Bible reading section, the word study is where we get into the, the Greek words and their true meaning of the text. We'll have an explanation section, which is like a summary of what I'll be teaching you. And then we'll have an other scripture section where we'll start to unpack connected scriptures to see what the depth is to the lesson we do and then we'll have an apply section in which how do we apply this lesson to our lives and your life and it's a simple step of application and then of course we have finally the question section and I'll ask you one two three questions around the subject of the lesson in which afterwards after you've listened to the lesson you'll be able to jot down some answers and kind of meditate on what you've heard and so in the the lessons you'll be able to just listen through time and time again and begin to answer the questions at the end and let the Holy Spirit impact your heart what I'll be asking for in each lesson is that when you listen to it, listen to it uh, once or twice, tw two, two times at least in the week and begin to jot down no more than five bullet points where it, something's really impacted you, something that's said, something that's taught, something that the scripture says from that lesson that impacts your heart. Not whole paragraphs, simple bullet points, and then with your answers to the questions at the end. And so that's the format we're going to use. So this is a taste tester today. It's not in depth. It's just going to have a brief look at the first lesson to whet your appetite today. So let's continue. Amen. Lesson one, the new creation. Say it with me. Lesson one, the new creation. And let's start at the introduction part of the notes. And it says this. When you became a Christian, a whole new life started. It is a life with a new beginning in Christ. This lesson will help you understand about this new start in Christ Jesus. And you'll find throughout all the Just Jesus lessons, there is a term called in Christ, in him, in whom, with Christ, Christ in us. And these are all terms that sometimes in scripture we overlook. We just see the word in Christ, in who, in him. And we don't fully see what the writer of those letters in the Bible are trying to communicate to us. Well, these are all terms of our position in Christ Jesus. What do I mean by position? A position is what we have received of Christ when he died and rose again from the dead. Everything he achieved in his death and resurrection, because now he lives in us, we have received of him. And it's not just the forgiveness of sins we've received when we responded to the gospel. We receive so much more. And so we're in Christ. We're in him. We are part of him in the sense of we live 
in him and he lives in us. We are joined, we are united. This in fact, when we say in Christ, is now a new identity. An identity is so important, isn't it folks? When you think about your self-image, when you think about your identity, and everybody's after a new self-image. Well, the Bible has given us not a repair job of our old self-image. No, he's given us a brand new image, and it's Jesus, just Jesus. So we've had a new start and a new beginning, and it's called the new creation. So let's just look at the Bible reading section for a few moments. 2 Corinthians 5 verse 17 is the main scripture. 2 Corinthians 5 verse 17. It says, and you can read it with me. Let's read it together. I'm reading from the King James Version. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature or creation. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things have become new. Hallelujah. If any man, so any person, whether we're rich, poor, whether culturally we're different, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what our background is. Because our background was in Adam, wasn't it? No matter what family we come from, our original uh, kind of DNA, as it were, comes from Adam and Eve. And Adam fell, and he's known, uh, Adam is, as the old creation in that sense. Because when he fell, everyone, including you and me, were born in sin. But when we was born again, we became a new creation and a new species of being. Christ's life in us. So this, as we see, he says, if any man be in Christ, he's a new creation a new creature, a new species of being, meaning we have the life of Jesus in us. So what am I saying? Your life in Christ as a new creation is not a repair job. It's not a patch-up job, folks. And I really want that to sink into your hearts where you're listening to me right now. You might be a new Christian or an old Christian for many years but it doesn't really matter the reality is we must understand that we are a new creation he hasn't patched up our lives and so when we think of a new beginning or a new start in Christ as a new creation yes it is a new beginning yes it is a new start but folks, I want to communicate to you something far more important about you being a new creation in Christ. It is a new life. Say that with me in your homes or in your car as you're listening. It is a new life. He hasn't repaired your old life. He hasn't patched up your old life. And you might say, well, I'm like auntie so-and-so or grandma so-and-so or I'm like this and I'm like that before I got saved. Look, now you're saved. You have a new life and it's the life of Jesus. And that's what the new creation is about. That we have come about because of the resurrection life of Jesus that now resides in us when we became a Christian by his spirit. So you haven't got to repair your old life anymore. Don't try. Don't try and patch up your old life. Don't try and become a better old you. This isn't behavior modification. This is the life of Jesus through us now. And the good thing is, folks, that you don't get old as a new creation. I'll say that again and listen carefully. You don't get old as a new creation. Every day you wake up, whether you've been a Christian two minutes, one minute, 30 seconds, or whether you've been a Christian a hundred years, every day you wake up, you wake up a new creation. It doesn't get old, folks. So your past has always gone. So it's not as though you're notching up bad things even after you become a Christian and you're slowly getting old again, like the old you. No, 
You always knew you always have the life of Jesus in you. Hallelujah. The old things have gone. Say with me, the old things have gone. They're gone. You might remember them. You might wake up on a morning, and some of you do probably, feeling down in a roller coaster ride of life, maybe have regrets, maybe think back to the past, maybe the devil accuses you, but the reality is you are new. The Bible says very clearly, you are now a new creation in Christ. Not just a new start, which it is, and not just a new beginning, which it is, but a new life. Hallelujah. So what? let's just unpack in the word study now a little bit more about what it means to be in Christ as a new creation. Well, the, the basic meaning of the word in Christ means in, by, with. Say it with me. In, by, with. So I'm in Christ. I'm by Christ. I'm with Christ. Hallelujah. And so we are in Christ, Christ is in us by his life, we are with him, he is with us, hallelujah. And so our life now is Jesus. You might not always think so when you look in the mirror, <laughs> but this is a shell, but within it is the life of Jesus, it's the new creation life. So you're in Christ, by Christ, with Christ, but this word denotes a fixed position. Say it with me, a fixed position. So while your Christianity might be sometimes like a roller coaster, and you will go sometimes through difficult times, emotionally, mentally, physically, but that doesn't stop what's on the inside of us. And so while we get things wrong, we do things wrong. Sometimes we think wrongly, we have bad attitudes, but no matter what, while we must deal with those things as we grow in Jesus, the reality is we are in a fixed position in Christ as the new creation. So this new creation life cannot be moved out of us. It's in us now, it can't be moved out of us. The devil can't do it, the demons can't do it, people can't do it, not even we can do it. We're in a fixed position in Christ. So while we physically, mentally, emotionally, sometimes are moving, our spirit is fixed in Jesus Christ. Isn't that good news, folks? It is for me. Hallelujah. We're fixed in a place. That's Jesus. We're fixed in a time. That's his death and resurrection. Hallelujah. So what took place 2,000 years ago is now in this time frame, ours, because we was we died with Christ, buried with Christ, and we was raised with Christ as a new creation. Hallelujah. It's, a diff it's now, we're in a state of being a new creation. That's our new nature. That's our new life. Hallelujah. So we are reflecting this new creation life. Hallelujah. Because that's now, and you are, you are. Sometimes you might not think so, but in Jesus, you are slowly, as you mature, reflecting him because of his life in you. Hallelujah. And it means, finally, this word in Christ, it means in relation to rest. So this new creation isn't about striving. It's not about works. It's not trying to kind of trying to make God happy, trying to get yourself to be more happy, to try and get yourself to be more uh, uh, kind of in tune with God, uh, to be more friendly with God, to be more forgiven by God, to be more holy in God. This is our start point, folks. Jesus, just Jesus, is our start point, not our finish point. We grow from the foundation of who Christ has made us to be so we can be at rest because Jesus has done it for us and so what we do in our Christian life as we grow as we reflect his character is from him and his life hallelujah and so we are a new creation something that is far different this word study says we are different to what we once was sometimes we don't always act like it I don't you won't 
but the reality is on the inside, we are. Hallelujah. And so it says, behold. This word behold means it's imperative to see. And so in these Just Jesus lessons, it's about beholding that we're in Christ. It's imperative to see it. Because what you see, you believe. And what you believe, you will do and reflect. I'll say that again. What you see, you will believe. And what you believe, you will do. You will live out what you believe. And so Paul here is saying, Behold, it's imperative to see that you are a new creation. It's imperative for you to see that the old life has gone. Gone. No matter what comes to your mind, the old life has gone. And you don't have to live by the old habits anymore of an old lifestyle now that you're a Christian. Because it's gone. It's perished. Behold, see that in Jesus you have a new creation life. Hallelujah. And so I just want to leave you with this little taste tester today with an application. This verse says, Behold, which shows that it's imperative to see this truth of this new beginning, this new start, and new life in Christ. See yourself this week onwards, from now on, as a person as an, in a new creation life in you, with all sins now gone in Christ Jesus. So I hope you've enjoyed this little bit of a taste tester. Until next time, God bless you.